Sparked by the Gabby Petito case, we are highlighting unsolved cases around the country in our Missing in America series. And our focus this week is a case in Texas where a family and a community are still waiting for answers after Texas State University student Jason Landry disappeared 10 months ago. Police say the 21-year-old went missing in December after crashing his car on his way home to Missouri City, Texas. That car was found abandoned with his keys still in the ignition. And his father will not stop until he finds his son. News Nation correspondent Marky Martin is joining us tonight, live with a preview of her story. Marky. Yeah, good evening, Marnie. This is truly one of those mysteries that we may never have all the answers to. And that's exactly why we do these Missing in America segments to shed light on cases that need explaining. But you're right, Jason went missing last Christmas. He leaves school to drive home for the holidays and he never makes it there. In fact, authorities found his car in the middle of nowhere. Just wait till you see this story so far off the main highway, but absolutely no sign of Jason. And here in the past couple of weeks, we have spent ample time with his parents. We went out with a search party that, that went out once again with drones, with people, horses, canine units, just to find any shred of evidence that they could. And specifically, we've spent a lot of time with Jason's father, Kent Landry. And we went walking down that very road where his son went missing from. Here's a sneak peek of tomorrow night. So I got here early. It was like five in the morning and there's no one out. There's no police officers looking because the police officer had gone to bed. And are you like, where are the crews? I mean it was it was very weird because I was expecting to, to come to, I mean, I've been to plenty of crime scenes and I was expecting police and searchers and there was no one. The thing as a parent, you visualize your child walking down a dirt road in the middle of nowhere not knowing anyone, looking for help. And, and that's the part that hurts, yeah. So that's, that's, that stays with you. As you can tell, the family's grief, the family's confusion is palpable. This is a case that has stuck with me and my crew, and I think it will with viewers as well. So tomorrow night, we're going to bring you the full story, including our one-on-one -on -one with the lead detective, what his leading theories are. Also, our sit-down interview with both of Jason's parents, mother and father in his childhood home just outside of Houston, what they think happened to their son. Um, but this Missing in America segment really tries to answer the question, how does somebody just vanish? into thin air like this and what happened out there on Salt Flat Road that night. Marnie, it's a, it's a fascinating case. And it's heartbreaking, Marky. And I think that is why uh, we are all so interested in each of these mm -hmm. cases because it's relatable, right? What would you do if someone you loved went missing? I mean, we would go to the end of the earth to try to find the answers and try to bring them home. And so uh, my feelings and thoughts are with that family tonight and, and we'll do our best yeah. to highlight uh, his case tomorrow and shed some, shed some attention on it. Marky, thank you.